Before you can use Cambria's countertop catalog, you'll need to download three items from 2020.net. Once you've logged on to 2020.net, go to the Manufacturer Updates tab. In the Search by Type window, select 2020 Generic Catalogs. From the list that appears here, download and install both Countertop Wizard catalogs, the Imperial and the Metric. Then go back to the Manufacturer Updates tab and download and install the Cambria Countertop Catalog. Once you've installed all three of these catalogs, you're ready to follow the steps in the remainder of this video. Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. To design with your brand new Cambria 2020 catalog, go to the top of the screen to the items ribbon and left click on design wizard. When design wizard opens, you'll see lots of options on the left hand side of your screen. All you need to do is make your selections and click next each time to move to the next step. If you should click on items and not see the countertop wizard feature or the feature is grayed out. Please go to 2020.net and download a countertop catalog from there in order to activate your countertop wizard. First question is going to be what type of material? I'm going to choose stone and click next. Now it wants to know which catalog and right here you see your brand new Cambria catalog. So we simply click on it and click next again to move to the next step. Now you'll see that it's going to load all of the designs available from Cambria. You'll see Aberdeen, Aragon, Armitage, and you can scroll all the way down to the bottom to Yorkshire if you wish. Let me go back to the top though. For this kitchen, I'd like to use Berwyn, and if I click on Berwyn, we'll see a preview on the right hand side. All I need to do to select that is again, click next to move on to the next page. Now, it wants to know about material thickness. 2CM, 3CM, you, you can choose either one. I'm gonna choose 3CM and click next and move into the design phase. Now I really have two options here. Actually, there's a lot more options than that, but two big options. Do I wanna design it over my existing cabinets, which is what most designers do. You've laid out your entire room with all the base cabinetry. Now you're just going to click on next to have it fill in the countertop with all of your Cambria selections or you can choose choose a select shape from the following list and here you'll see that you can make custom shapes. So if you're just drawing a top or maybe it's a bar top or a raised top, you can make your own selections here. I'm going to go back to auto design and move on to the next page which will actually give me a preview of my countertop. Now if we move on again, it's going to ask me about backsplash. Do I want to have a backsplash? None or yes. And if I choose set, I can actually determine how high, high, what the height of the backsplash is going to be. I'm going to leave that at none and go ahead and click next. Now it shows me all of my edge options, whether it's basin or cascade or cornice or volcanic. I can uh, choose any selection that I want. I'm going to choose the Idris 3CM and click next. And we'll move on to the selections for sync. Now you'll notice that my sinks are highlighted and they're actually black on the screen. That means that I can move to the next page to continue on. Now I've done that because I've pre-selected my sinks. Now if you haven't pre-selected your sinks, you may see a sink listed here in red. If you do, the next button will not be highlighted. You won't be able to move forward. You need to actually edit the sink to define it. The way you define a sink is really simple. All you do is you click on it, you click edit, and then you answer the questions that come up. Sink type, do I want it to be undermount or drop in? Do I want what, uh, which type of material, cast iron or non-cast iron? I'll go ahead and click next, move on to the next page. Once you've made the proper selections, you'll notice that the button is active again. Now you'll notice it skipped cooking and dishwasher because I've already placed cooktops and dishwashers in the room. It does ask me about obstacles. You can actually select a wall and place a dimension for an obstacle to design around, but typically you've already done that in your layout, so it would have automatically auto-designed around any of your obstacles. You can also do additional cutouts, but again, you would have done that in your initial plan, so it's probably already designed around that as well. Nine times or 99% of the time, I actually am able to skip those functions. Now the last two are very important features. First feature is what type of appliance or where do you want the appliance edge to be? You simply click on the sections where you want an appliance edge. 
if I'm okay with where they've been pre-selected, we'll go to the last item, which is going to be place your edge. Now remember, we picked the Idris edge earlier. I'm going to go ahead and click on my countertop on every edge that I would like to apply it to. So all I have to do is go around the room and select on each one. Even, you notice there's a little tiny area right here. Make sure you do that as well or it's not complete. Now once we're finished with that, you'll see that there is one more page and that page is for special notes. So if you want to make special notes about your countertop, you can do that and include that on your printouts. Now when I'm finished, all I need to do is click the button called finish and I'm done. Matter of fact, if you go around your plan and take a look at it now, as it's redesigning it, you'll notice that as I move to the top of the island, it turns green. That's where my countertop is. Countertop, 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 all the way down, even here as well. It's placed countertop around the room, and if you zoom in, you can even see the edge treatments here on the plan. Now, if you want to get a better view of that, I recommend that you open up your perspective. A perspective can be opened up by clicking on this button right here. Now, I've already pre-opened my perspective, so I should be able to go in right now, highlight my perspective, open it up, and show you the completed countertop. We'll give it a moment as it re-renders the countertop, and you'll see the details of your Cambria Berwyn countertop right down to the edge treatment that we've applied. For other great ideas, please join the 2020 community at www.2020spaces.com forward slash community.